why did I choose to play for Cameroon? I think this is my, well, I know this is my home country, so it's a privilege to represent my home country. And I want to make the people of my country proud, my family proud, and everyone that's watching us and supporting us. So it's a good, it's a good feeling to represent your home nation. How did I feel when I first got to play for Cameroon? I, I couldn't believe it. It was like, um, when I got the phone call, straight away I said yes, because it means so much to me. Like, your home country, it has a lot of strong meaning to me. It's what, this is my background, so to be able to represent my home country, it meant everything to me, so I was so happy. The first person to call me, if I remember well, it was Sebastian Mignon. He was the first one that reached out to me. Um, my club, they, they were very proud of me. They uh, supported me a lot. They said it was a great achievement and they were looking forward to me going out and making them proud as well. It did I have it in my mind. It wasn't really in my mind, I didn't really think about it. So that's why it feels so surreal so now. Like it means it feels like so good that I play for Cameroon because I never thought about it when I was a little kid. I was it for my family. My family was so happy. They couldn't believe it. Uh, obviously, they were born in Cameroon, so for them, it's like it was the best thing that ever happened to them. So that made me happy as well, and that made me want to play for Cameroon even more. Did it change my stay inside my club? To be honest, I think I'm still the same person. It's a good, it's a good uh, reward, but it's not really going to change much because at the end of the day, it's me. It's me that's playing the game. It's me that's on the pitch. So how I perform is is what will change the way people see me. My first day with the group, um, it was it was very good. I felt uh, very welcomed between everyone. Everyone was um, obviously happy to see me. They welcomed me very well the coaches, the players, so it was a good feeling. I felt very comfortable straight away, which is why I'm happy to be here again. Uh, the first game was a very good game. Uh, of course, we won 3-0 as well, and that was my first game where I represented my home country, so it was a proud moment, especially to do it in Douala, in Douala where my family are from. So all my family were there, so that gave me more confidence to try and do well. And I, I know I did well, so I'm happy. I was very happy with that game. Before coming to the Den, yeah, all the time, every game, I was watching at home with my family because there's you can't you can't not watch uh, your home country play. So every time Cameroon played, I was always I always made sure I was there to watch. Uh, I think a lot of people will say Samuelito, and I think for me he's definitely one of my favorite players. Um, I grew up. When I was growing up, my parents always got me into watching, um, watching him when he was playing for Cameroon, when he was playing for Barcelona. So it was always good to watch Samuel. Yeah, my feeling about that is just that I'm very honoured and proud to be in and around them. I'm proud to have obviously Rodolfo Bersan as my manager and um, to have Samuel as my president. So to meet them is obviously a big thing for me and my family, of course. Like I never expected to meet San Berto, so it's very, I'm very like, happy to have done that. I, I was, to be honest, I was speechless when um, I found out I was going to the half uh, When I first came for the first stage, it was to uh, be in contention to go to AFCON. So to finally get, uh, to finally be selected, it, it means so much to me and my family. So I was so proud. I think with this team, we've got a great team. So we obviously looking to go far in this tournament. But not only that, I feel like over the next few years, I feel like we're going to be a big, um, continue to be a big team in Africa. And for us, uh, really, is to do well in the AFCON and hopefully qualify for the World Cup in 26. Yeah, 100%, I think this team can do it. We have the players to do it. We have the staff to help us do it. So it's all about believing. And I think if we believe, we'll go out there and do it. The one thing I'll say is believe in us and stick with us and we'll go far together.
restez connectés les amis et retrouvons-nous dans le prochain numéro. Et surtout, n'oubliez pas de vous abonner et d'activer la cloche de notification pour ne pas louper les prochaines publications d'informations sportives et aussi pour nous permettre de faire grandir le canal et d'avoir un très bon référencement. A bientôt les amis.